Hey guys, today I got a little different type of video for you. I'm going to be building a deck horse for a lawnmower. And it'll make sense more when I do a mock up over here. This is basically what I'm going to be building right here. And it's going to have holes drilled in it for water to shoot up underneath the deck. It's going to have a, a valve and the water hose connector here. It's all PVC pipe. And this is PVC, not CPVC. This is the cheaper stuff. Which ain't designed for hot water. This is half inch. As you can see this is schedule 40, so it's a pretty pretty thick wall, not super thick, but because uh, in, in regular C P V C pipe which you use for house plumbing, half inch is the real small stuff. And this is about the size of three quarter inch uh, C P V C as you can see here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out, give you a better idea of what I'm gonna be working with. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the pipe. Let you know ahead of time, this is not a very expensive project. It's pretty cheap, really. All the pipe and fittings you see here was uh, right at $16. The pipe came in 10 foot sections. These are cut off at 4 foot. And uh, it's pretty cheap, really. And the glue is your most expensive part. The glue and the primer, which is anywhere between $5 and $10 for small cans of it. Here's a basic mock-up of it. You can see basically how it's going to be. And the valve, I'm going to have a little bit of an upward angle to it so the hose can hook up to it easier. Right here's a 38-inch deck. Give you some idea of how big it's going to be. This is going to be for a 48-inch. But your three middle ones are going to be the main ones with holes drilled in it. I'm just building a little bit bigger to accommodate a bigger motor in case I ever get something bigger. Like a zero turn or something. The way I'd be able to use it on it. It works pretty good. And I'm concerned about pressure. How many holes you drill in is going to affect the pressure and how big a holes will. But the main thing, just to get the water up underneath it. And when you get the water run and you turn your blades on, the blades are going to be uh, shooting the water around everywhere too, cleaning it out. Because a lot of newer mowers will have an attachment to go over here and it just sprays just a little bit of water and then it's supposed to clean the whole deck out. This is just a step up from that, and I'm sure I'm not the original doing that did this. I just thought it'd be something to try out and make a video on, and also I want to show you how to use the glue and primer on PVC pipe or CPVC pipe. Both of them glue the same, and uh, I've been wanting to do a video on that, and I figured this would be a good project to do that on. Okay, I'm getting ready to cut this. I got a piece measured off with 11 inches, and these are going to be spaced one foot apart, one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, like this. And since you got to allow an inch for the T, and a little bit of space for the elbow on both sides, I'm cutting these at 11 instead of 12. That way, it should come out close. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not going for perfect. And this is a foot and a half wide, and there's several different ways you can cut PVC pipe. I'm just using the hacksaw myself. I got it marked right here. You can't use a tubing cutter. I just think a hacksaw is faster for PVC. You just gotta make sure you're doing it straight. I just think that's the fastest and easiest way to do it. And you have to clean up the burr a little bit there. No big deal though. If you got one of them tubing cutters, it'll have a triangle shaped thing you run there like this. Basically all I'm doing going in like this with a knife. You can use anything as long as it's got that shape to it. Okay, I'm going to start putting it together. This is just a test fit more or less. Give everybody an idea how it's going to go together. This probably ain't going to be how I put it together with glue because you don't have much time to work with it. You don't want to get something like this out of square. It won't look right. That's pretty much how the top piece or the bottom piece is going to go. You can get the other one put together. Okay, so the end piece where the water hose hooks up on that side will go together kind of like this. And you 
get your valve. Make sure the valve's up and down that way you'll be able to use it. <laughs> and that. And that, just like that. Like I said, this will be put on at a little bit of an angle that way you'll be able to hook the hose up to it easier. And you can turn it on and off like this. I wouldn't advise doing it with them when you had the blades on because you might get your hand caught in there. But uh, yeah, it ain't gonna have much of an angle, just about a, probably an inch or two off just to get the hose off the ground, make it easier to connect the hose to it. And you probably notice with this type of thread, I'll have to use a washing machine hose on it because it's got the same end on both ends. But once I put that hose on here, I'll just leave it on this. The way it's, you just hook it to the water hose, you don't have to fool around with it. I measured this at 15 inches. Allow one inch for this to be 16. It should be right on 16 inches. So I'm going to cut the other pieces right at 16 inches and it should all be close enough to being right. It ain't going to be perfect anyway. I had trouble with getting these spaced right. I'm going to have to kind of adjust them a little bit, which will be fine once the glue dries. Won't be no problem at all. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, now I just got to glue it and put the holes in it. It turned out exactly 18 inches on the outside and 49 and a half on the outside, which is fine. It's not, not that critical. But you can kind of kind of see how it's going to you kind of see how it's going to be. Them three center ones are going to be where uh, most of the uh, water is going to be at. I probably won't even drill none on the outside ones for right now. I'm just using three middle ones as the main one. I'm going to kind of drill them at an angle like this, probably about two or three on each side. Uh, probably about eighth inch, sixteenth or eighth inch, whatever I think will be uh, best, and uh, go from there and see what it'll do. You could, if you wanted to, drill holes in the upper part of this, where you're getting a couple of different angles. But you gotta realize the more holes you put in there, the less water is gonna come out of them because your pressure will get decreased. Depending on how much pressure you got at your house, it makes a big difference. And this pipe's rated for 480 psi, so. Uh, if you could hook it to a pressure washer or something, it would probably hold up to it. And you could put all kinds of holes in it. So that's another idea, which I might do that eventually if I ever get me a pressure washer. But there's a lot of ideas on something like this. And if y'all got any suggestions, I'm more than welcome to hear them. So, but, uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started gluing them and drilling the holes. Then we'll see what it's going to do. Alright guys, I'm going to get ready to start gluing all this together. And this is the only part I'm going to show you actual glue in on video because it's just going to be too time consuming and boring for you. So, uh, first thing you want to do, get your primer here. Go around it like that. Go around your pipe. And this does several things. And this does a couple of things. It, first of all, it cleans up, cleans it up. And, uh, second of all, it kind of melts the plastic in a way to get ready for the glue because you're actually bonding plastic to plastic you're not really just gluing it and before it dries completely you can go ahead and start putting the glue in it it don't take much glue at all especially for something like this it ain't going to really be used all the time just put a little glue in there and a little bit like that and slide it in there, kind of twist it and turn it about like that. And that's ready to go. Let it dry by the instructions on the can, however long it's supposed to. And you're good to go. So now we'll go ahead and get the valve on here. And we'll do the same thing. Get that dirt out of the way. dry a second you can pretty much watch it dry it dries kind of like a like a flat paint does you can see it lose the shine to it you know it's drying
and that's pretty much all you gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one in there and start putting the other one back, start putting the rest of it together with glue. So we'll get back to you here in a minute. Alright guys, I got everything glued here. You can see. As long as you don't get excessive with it, you know, you're not gonna have a mess with the primer and everything. Uh, see, I put marks on everything to help me line everything up. It made it a lot easier. And it's sitting pretty level on the floor. I didn't get out of square or nothing. And I got the wash machine hose on there, the way it's ready to go. So, I'm going to and start drilling the holes here. Okay, I'm going to start drilling the holes in there. I'm going to drill three here, and three like this. I'm using a 16th inch bit. And we're going to find out if it's too big or too small. Do this from the other two pieces and we'll get back to testing it out. Well, guys, you can see I got it spraying there. And, uh, it's a fine spray, but each one of them got quite a bit of pressure on it. Uh, and you can see there's quite a bit of water coming out of there. You got the valve, of course. Almost looks like a long sprinkler. And that's with just regular pressure there, and it's quite a bit of water coming out there, really. And it's shooting off each side, probably 10 foot, where it's shooting off there. And yeah, it's, uh, I might end up drilling out the holes bigger. I'm going to try it out for a while and see what you guys think. And uh, but I'm going to leave it like this for, for right now. And I already cleaned one more out. You can see what came out of it. We'll go ahead and do it on this one, and uh, I'm going to turn it on there and let everything soak for a minute because it, it, it's been uh, a day since it was ran, so it uh, might be caked up and dried up a little bit. So that's uh, that's about what it looks like, about the way it is. Uh, I mean, as far as how much is sticking out there. And the other side, see, it kind of sits at an angle a little bit. Look underneath there. And You kind of see how it sits in there. It probably won't get out any thick buildup like that, but we'll see what it does. Uh, you just want to blow it down enough where it kicks on or just leave it all the way up.
Well guys, it seemed like it did a pretty good job. Uh, still gotta clean the top part off, of course. It only cleans the underside, but uh, like I said, I don't know if bigger holes would work better or not. You can kind of, you can see it there, and there's chunks of it right there. All that came out from underneath it. So it's definitely, definitely clean it. Uh, well, if you got any questions or comments or suggestions, let me know, and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.